Let's see. So, in summary, we are looking at a chronomass ejection that occurred uh, shortly after 03 or shortly before 0400 UTC on 13 March of 2023. This event is on the backside of the sun. However, despite being on the backside of the sun, it has given us a proton event that is already impacting Earth. It took approximately 20 to 25 minutes post event to impact Earth, and we're already seeing some of the full halo effect from the backside. So there is a slight chance, as has happened in the past, that this chronomass ejection could actually cause a solar storm, even though it was on the backside facing sun, to reach all the way around and impact Earth. So this is not without its uh, uh, promises of ex <laughs> excitement, as it were. But uh, taking a look at Stereo Ahead's uh, imagery helps us to see a little bit better on what I'm referring to. Let's go to image 39. And as we look at the initial burst, we can see that this is on the closer to viewing. It's, it's rotating into view the region where this has come from. So we can see that the most intense portions on this side. So uh, Stereo Ahead is giving us about one to just under two day preview of what the sun surface looks like before we see it and that will slowly fade as it gets closer within alignment of the earth supposedly or uh, appro approximately in July of this year and we have here this chronomass ejection that gave us the proton event go to Soho C3 for a little image 61, a little better view of the overall encompassing magnitude of this. You can see that this is once again a full halo from the backside and has provided a proton event facing us. <laughs> and there is a chance uh, that this could end up giving us a solar storm even though this is on the backside of the sun as we have seen in previous significant enough events. Even though it was on the facing away from Earth, it was large enough that it caused a solar storm to reach all the way around and impact Earth. Now, that, I don't have a way to confirm that this will or will not, so time will tell. But uh, I just know that it is possible, and seeing that we have a proton event from this, I, I err on the side of caution. we go this is the full magnitude of that CME full halo this is that uh, <laughs> our little oval eruption that's happening and that is facing uh, northward so we can view that on the Sun but it's not coming towards us and there you go that's a quick update so proton event caused from a backside solar event. The event was significant enough that we may have a solar storm that still could impact Earth, even though it was on the backside of the sun. And the backside portion still shows a full halo. So it was large enough to be that and still provide us a proton event. So there you go. Cheers and science on.